You're still watching Anong Ganap! Gagampanan niya ang papel na si Rin sa Pinoy adaptation ng hit K-drama series na Encounter. Christine Reyes, welcome to Anong Ganap! Hello! <laughs> Every time nakikita kita, iba lagi ang hair dot, ang look mo. <laughs> Our project, parang minsan, actually not minsan, they, they require me to cut my hair. Wala akong choice. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ang ganda, bagay sa'yo. So, Christine, ayan, pag-usapan naman natin ang iyong bagong project. Ikaw ang napiling gumanap na si Lynn sa Pinoy adaptation ng successful K-drama na Encounter. But ikaw ba, Christine, is, are you a big fan of K-drama? Uh, I would say, sakto lang. I'm not super duper mm-hmm. fanatic. But mm-hmm. I will watch some Korean mm-hmm. series. So when Encounter was offered to you, wala ka pa masyadong idea about the story? Wala akong idea. Um, oh! Ito sa akin, briefly, kung ano yung synopsis. And then, mm-hmm. yung bago kami mag-shoot, like maybe um, days before the shoot, um, mm-hmm. I watched the series. Tapos dun pala mm-hmm. ako ng idea na about the show, the whole show. So, ano naman reaction mo nung napanood mo na or nalaman mo na yung synopsis ng encounter? Parang ano, I mean, I mean kaya naman siyang gawin. Kayang-kaya. Mm-hmm. Talaga, di ba? Um, kailangan piliin talaga yung mga lugar dito sa Pilipinas. Supposedly, kasi we were, we were gonna shoot this in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Thailand and Bali, I think or something. Uh-huh. Then, because of pandemic, we had to relocate here in the Philippines. Nako, oh, oh, because medyo mahirap talaga ang logistics ngayon. Naka-lockdown din ba kaya during the shoot? Lock-in? Ano ba ang tawag doon? <laughs> um, mga strict, ano kami, quarantine. Ah, nag-quarantine muna kami bago kami umalis. And then, yeah, pagdating sa work, bubble talaga. Hindi kami pwede lumang uh-huh. bawal pagbisita. Uh-huh. Para safe lang. Mabuti ng safe than sorry. <laughs> But going back to encounter, in a nutshell, ba pwede bang ikwento mo sa amin ano ba ang encounter? Um, it's a story about Celine Cristobal and Gino uh-huh. So, si Celine Cristobal, which is me, Um, dati siyang artista and then yung daddy niya is politician. So, mm-hmm. naging successful siya with um, um, her new career. So, hindi na siya nag-artista. Hindi siya nag-continue mag-artista. Naging hotel owner na siya. And then, she was successful. And then, she was branching out na kasi nga naging successful yung hotel na hinihingi niya, di ba? So, nagkaroon na siya ng mga branches. Mm-hmm. Napunta siya sa Ilocos. May gusto siyang bilhin property para gawing hotel. There, mm-hmm. met, I met Gino. I met Diego Lizardo there. Ito yung catch. Si Diego, <laughs> okay. Gino, is younger than me. Okay. Younger than me. So, in the story, may, may ano, kailangan yung malaman to, ah, 10 years younger. Mm-hmm. It's a story, okay? But in real life, hindi 10 years <laughs> <laughs> uh, clarify ko lang clarify ko lang yun <laughs> okay ano natin interview so, natin si Diego dyan <laughs> anyways so um, kidding aside so yun uh-huh. yung story 10 years gap also hindi ko alam and hindi namin alam pareho na we are bound to meet each other back to Manila kasi sa Ilocos kami uh-huh. nag-meet nagkaroon uh-huh. kami moments there And then, you'd cut back to reality, back to my hotel, CEO, as CEO, going to mm-hmm. my hotel. Biglang, nakita ko si Gino, si Diego, na nag apply sa hotel mm-hmm. as an employee. So, mm-hmm. yung magkabilang mundo kami, simpleng tao, mm-hmm. na private yung buhay niya. And then, me, always mm-hmm. in public eye, Um, mm-hmm. scrutiny, um, mm-hmm. 
malayo, malayong malayo. So, doon tatakbo yung buong story ko. Mm-hmm. Kung ipaglalaban ba namin or susunod na lang kami sa mga tao sa paligid namin, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I really admire you, Christine, kasi whenever I watch you, talagang I don't see the I don't see you na kasi ni ko lang kita Christine for this one naman how much of of Christine yun talagang kailangan mong baguhin or paano ka nag-prepare for your character oh my god kasi <laughs> Cristobal is super collected calm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I'm not like that kung dismiss ko di ba sobrang oh. Uh, so I had to really control myself. So Diego, naman, how did Diego help you uh, play the character, or and then how is your chemistry, naman, with Diego? We always, I know, work with each other, like when we <laughs> give and take. So I'm not okay, Diego, because hardworking, right? Eh, mm-hmm. he listens and um. I think ito yung first project niya for a long time. Uh-huh. So I'm I'm I know I'm I'm happy na he's doing well and uh-huh. naman siya mahirap na miyan katrabaho knowing that uh-huh. parang tagal din yung next stop de ba? Uh-huh. And how's your chemistry naman? Well, um, basing yeah. first episode first sa premiere namin basing from the people na nag-comment mm-hmm. and yeah I, I, I saw some nice comments na bagay daw may mm-hmm. so natuwa naman ako kasi mm-hmm. sila talaga yung mga audience naman talaga yung makakapagsabi nun eh not us mm-hmm. and to clarify hindi talaga 10 years ang gap <laughs> okay. please <laughs> but going back kasi you mentioned kanina nga that you, of course lahat ng mga tapings and shoot you have to go in a bubble yes. how was it naman doing a shoot in a bubble any what's your challenges and what are the new things that you've learned doing this kind of mga shoots now mas prefer ko this way that we're in a bubble mm-hmm. mas focus ako sa work na parang mm-hmm. I don't know parang mas parang alam ko kasi na parang I would be on set for mm-hmm. a period of time. So, mm-hmm. wala in entertain na anything. So, mas uh-huh. yung focus ko na sa work and yung distractions. Uh-huh. Talagang wala, malayo kami uh-huh. na sa Ilocos, uh-huh. you know. Uh-huh. So, para kung ano, parang gumagawa ka ng pelikula. Uh-huh. I don't know. Ako na enjoy ko naman siya so far. Nakakamis ay yung bahay but I don't know. Yeah. I psyched myself already eh, with the situation. Mm-hmm. So hindi ako masyado hirapan. At kamusta naman ng daughter mo na si Amara during your shoot? Okay naman siya. Um, kasi meron siyang online class so mm-hmm. hindi naman siya talaga walang ginagawa. Yung online class kasi mm-hmm. It's morning until afternoon. So, uh-huh. afternoon naman, she has activities, she has ballet, she has taekwondo, she has arts and crafts. Mm. Busy rin siya, like me. So, going back to work, <laughs> as an actress, ano naman ang uh, yung hinahanap mo sa isang project for you to say yes? Like, for for encounter. What? what? Um, story. Yeah, for encounter. Story talaga. Kasi story. parang lahat na nang napanood ko, sorry to cut you, you've done the most challenging roles na feeling ko. Ang hihirap na nung mga napanood kong ginawa mo. Well, if it's a series, it's gonna be, mm. it's gonna be a long period of shoot mm. compared mm. to there's mm. a number, number of days lang talaga. So it's not mm. that Although, mm-hmm. basically, it's exhausting. As an actress, um, ano pa yung project or role na gusto mong gampanan? Yun na lang siguro ang question ko. Hindi ko masabi. Basta maganda yung story. Yung, mm-hmm. Alam mo yun, minsan kasi may story na cute lang. Pwede rin naman mm-hmm. may story oh. na super funny, super mm-hmm. action-packed. Or mm-hmm. 
super heavy drama. Depende mm-hmm. sa story yan eh. Depende. Mm-hmm. Saka mm-hmm. depende kung kaya ko, kaya ko bang gawin to. Minsan mahirap mm-hmm. ipilit yung sarili mo kung hindi mo naman kaya gawin. But for you, Christine, sino yung pinaka talaga um, peg mo or iniidolo mo or you look up to na actress or actor? can be international or local? Minsan kasi gusto ko rin yung mga lalaki. Like yung mga mm-hmm. Jack Nicholson, sila mm-hmm. Denzel Washington, yes. uh, Morgan Freeman. Mm-hmm. Kasi I don't know, parang I find them more mm-hmm. artistic. Yeah. They engage well in their characters. Mm-hmm. The girls limited Mm. Um, I don't know. Maybe Kathy Bates. Mm-hmm. Um, ngayon yung bago. I, I don't know if it's bago pero ngayon ko lang kasi siya napapal si Sarah. Sarah Paul. Going back again to your new series. Ito nga, it's a K-drama. So, so did you um watch uh, the original Yes, I series. did. You did. How did you make it more? Because it's Korean, right? How did you guys make it more suitable for Filipinos? We had to change some mm-hmm. uh, technicals. Mm-hmm. In Korean version, it, they have divorce. Here, we have not Korean version. They have ramen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. But Korean version, very subtle. Si Song Hye Kyo, very like... Mm-hmm. Feminine, like that. Uh-huh. And the Vong story was super quiet, mellow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Filipino version, we have to make it a little bit more dramatic, uh-huh. bit more you know lighter uh-huh. in terms of acting. Yeah, yun yung gusto ni direct Jeffrey Jeterian, kasi sabi niya, mm-hmm. I know we have to put our own Filipino version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kasi sa medyo iba rin. Yun nga, I mean, it's not a bad thing, but Filipinos are more dramatic, right? Pansin ko kasi mga Korean talagang, they're very light and quirky. So, it, it, so Encounter is more drama, love story. Para kanino ba itong latest series mo na ito? Para sa lahat ng gusto mm-hmm. kiligin, for sure, may mga nakaka-relate sa mga iba na may mga hidden... Um, admiration sa mga boss nila or maybe yung mga boss employee nila. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, maraming makaka-relate. Also, yung mga iba rin na nagmamahal na mas there's a um, gap with mm-hmm. age. Yeah, I think, ano, and also yung mga parents na super pushy. And of course, yung mga fans ng K-drama series. I'm sure abangan nilang version natin. Ayan, Christine, again, ano bang dapat abangan dito? And please invite our viewers to watch Encounter. Yes, um, abangan nyo ang aming story ni Gino and ni Pauline. And every Saturdays po ito, 8 p.m. So, okay, of course. Thank you very much, Christine. And congratulations on your show. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye!